Hello everyone, we will try to solve a question from number system today. It is based upon HCF and LCM. So the question is find the unit digit of LCM of 7 to the power 3000 plus 1 and 7 to the power 3001 minus 1. So here we will be using a rule from HCF LCM which is HCF into LCM is equal to product of two numbers. And guys this rule it is applicable only for two numbers okay not for three numbers or four numbers only for two numbers so i hope this is clear now if we use this rule hcf how can we guess the hcf of these two numbers see first one is 7 to the power 3000 plus 1 second one is 7 to the power 3001 minus 1 so there's a great difference between these two numbers many would have taken even this as 7 to the power 3000 minus 1 so you always have to read the question properly. Now how to guess the HCF? See first of all, we can determine that these two numbers are even, right? How to do that? We know that 7 to the power 3000, it will be an odd number. Odd number plus 1 will be even. Second number 7 to the power 3001, this will be odd. Odd minus 1, again it is even. So both are even numbers. So if both are even numbers, definitely, 2 will be an HCF or even 4, 6, 8, anything could be the HCF of these two numbers. So let us try with 2. If we divide the first number by 2, we will be getting 1 plus 1. We will be finding out the remainder 7 to the power 3000. If we divide this by 2, we will be getting remainder 1 because it is odd. Then plus 1 becomes even, even by 2. That means yes, it is divisible by 2. Second number 7 to the power 3000 minus 1. We know it is even, so definitely 2 will be a factor. It will be divisible by 2. But as soon as we check by 4, if you find out 7 to the power 3000 plus 1 mod 4, what will you get? You will be getting minus 1 to the power 3000 plus 1 mod 4, which gives us 1 plus 1 mod 4, which gives us 2 mod 4, which is equal to 2. So when we divide this number, the first one by 4, the remainder is not 0, so hence, so we can say that this first number is it's not divisible by 4 so 4 cannot be an HCF. Similarly the second number 7 to the power 3001 minus 1 if you divide it by 4 you will be getting minus 1 minus 1 by 4 that means minus 2 mod 4 that means 2 again. So remainder is not 0 in this case when we divide by 4 so yes both these numbers they are not divisible by 4 hence 4 cannot be the HCF. Now if you further check them or their divisibility by 3 they are not divisible if you check by 4 they are not divisible by 5 they are not divisible they won't be divisible by 6 because 6 involves 3 if you check by 7 they are not divisible 8 not possible or we can say that no multiple of 4 would be dividing these then no multiple of 5 would be dividing these also no multiple of 3 would be dividing these so if we consider first few numbers 1 will divide 2 will divide not 3 not 4, not 5, not 6, not 7, not 8, not 9, not 10. So the only numbers remaining, they would be the prime numbers like 11, 13 and so on, which can be possible factors of these numbers. Now if we check by prime numbers, see in number system you must have learned this that all the prime numbers uh, which are above 5, they can be represented in form of 6k plus 1 or 6k minus 1. So prime number above 5 they can be represented in this form. Even 5 can be represented. Which indirectly means that if we divide this number by 6 it should give me remainder 1. Or if I divide this number by 6 it should give me remainder 1. Let us check it. If you divide the first one by 6 you will be getting remainder as 2. If you divide the second one by 6 you will be getting the remainder as 0. So we are not getting remainder plus or minus 1 when we divide by 6. Hence these won't be divisible by the prime numbers as well. So they are not divisible by any uh, multiple of 3, any multiple of 4, any multiple of 5, any multiple of 6, 7. Also not by any prime number. So only factor that we got till now it is 2. So HCF will be 2. Their HCF will be 2. So 2 into LCM of these two numbers, it will be the product of these two numbers. So 7 to the power 3000 plus 1, then 7 to the power 3001 minus 1. I hope this is clear. Now let me remove everything else. 
so this is what we have see we'll be having the LCM equal to now I hope you know how to calculate the unit digit of a particular number if we calculate unit digit of this number you simply have to divide it by 10 or even you can use the cyclicity see cyclicity of 7 is 4 so you have to find out power mod 4 so 3000 mod 4 is 0 so 7 to the power 3000 will have same unit digit as 7 to the power 0 it gives me unit digit 1 this plus 1 was here in the second bracket we have 7 to the power 3001 if you use cyclicity cyclicity of 7 is 4 so if we divide power of 7 by 4 we get 1 so unit digit of 7 to the power 3001 will be same as 7 to the power 1 minus 1 I hope you know what is cyclicity if we find out 7 to the power 1 7 to the power 2 7 to the power 3 7 to the power 4 we get numbers like 7 then unit digit we will be only taking the unit digit here we will be getting 3 here we will get unit digit 1 again 7 to the power 5 we get unit digit 7 then 7 to the power 6 we get unit digit 9 again 7 to the power 7 we get unit digit 3 so we can see that there is a repetition in the unit digits it is repeating at a cycle of 4 so that that's why we are saying that the cyclicity of 7 is 4 now let's do this this is 2 into 7 minus 1 will be 6 here we had 2 into LCM okay so 2 into LCM so this 2 and this 2 would cancel so definitely the LCM would end with a unit digit 6 so correct answer to this question will be 6 I hope the explanation is understood if there is any doubt please comment thank you